The main findings of the report is that the current EU mandate, uh, meaning 5.6% of biofuel uh, consumption in total, fossil fuel consumption in the EU by 2020, will not have negative impact on the environment and on food prices. On environment, uh, the effect will be positive because we will save CO2 emissions because we are going to replace fossil fuel consumption by biofuel. So, and one of the problems with biofuel is that you can start to lead to deforestation that will lead to emissions. And in all case, it appears that the EU will increase its consumption of ethanol and ethanol produce mainly from sugar in Brazil. We have a net positive effect because bioethanol from sugar is very efficient. So you don't use too much energy to produce ethanol. And at the same time, because you use sugar, you are not going to have a strong deforestation effect because you don't produce sugar in Brazil, in the Amazonia, but in other regions. With this report, the policy makers uh, can learn a, a lot of things. Uh, first of all, that we need to have a not too ambitious mandate with um, biofuel of third generation, because what we have shown is that for this 5.6% mandate, and mainly using uh, bioethanol, we have positive effects of this policy. Another important finding is that if you start to increase the demand of biofuel up to a certain point, negative effects will dominate. Why? Because you will use more and more land to produce uh, biofuel, um, and it will increase the direct emissions uh, coming from deforestation. The main conclusion is little amount of biofuel is good, too much can be bad. Another important conclusion of a report is, yes, all biofuel are not equal, and using sugar to make a bioethanol is a good idea, uh, using wheat to make bioethanol is not a too good idea, and using soybean to make biodiesel is a very bad. The last lesson is that we need still to continue research because these new policies can also affect the behavior of economic agents, how the palm oil industry is going to react to this new demand, are they going to follow certification process to protect uh, the forest in Indonesia and Malaysia or not, it will uh, lead potentially to different conclusions. So we need still to continue research.